Hi everyone and welcome to Rage Print, I'm Andy and in this episode of my chopper build I'm going to gouge his eyes out. I barely expected you to say that, were you? Um, no, seriously, I'm going to take his eyes out and put some new ones in. So why don't you join me and see how we get on. Okay, so these are chopper's eyes at the moment. As you've probably seen on many videos or uh, even at Droid Builders events that the eyes light up and they glow blue. Which I suppose is a throwback to the cartoon where they, they're kind of like a solid blue colour. Um, I'm not quite sure where the idea of lighting them up came from. People just started doing it. Um, they don't actually light up as such in the cartoon, they're just kind of like a solid blue. So anyway, regardless, live action chopper doesn't appear to have any light up eyes, he just appears to have black glossy lenses, um, including the one there. Uh, I've mentioned this several times about putting a black lens there, I am going to keep the blue LED. But these two, um, basically the light up is surplus to requirements. I'm not going to remove them, I'm just going to disconnect them. And the, and the reason for that is, just in case I'm wrong, <laughs> and they do light up for some reason in the show, I have the ability to turn them back on. Um, so to that end, I have printed uh, these, but just in black. Just normal black PLA plus. And they were just slide in there. Um, they were printed in that orientation, so I don't know if it's going to focus on what I need it to focus on. Probably not. Anyway, um, you see there, there's like a a, uh, a chamfer around the top that's the back um, but it's printed in this orientation so that's that was against the base of the printer that's my front plate piece that will point out there so my first step is to paint these I know they're black already but I'm going to paint them mainly to give them a bit more um, a bit more thickness to them because looking at it I don't think they're good I think these will just slide in and then keep sliding in and out that's not what I want it's the opposite problem to what I have with these where they were too thick and that's why they're not reset as much as they should be uh, I think he's gonna have the opposite problem they're gonna slide all the way down um, so it'll give a bit of thickness to it uh, also I want to get rid of the texture marks on the top um, so it's as it's, it's clear as, you know, as smooth as possible so if I paint that and then uh, put a really shiny lacquer on or um, maybe some Games Workshop lacquer, uh, I've got some gloss lacquer somewhere, um, put that on and then um, pop these eyes in. And in case you're wondering how I'm going to get the old eyes out, I'm going to dig them out. I'm going to gouge Chopper's eyes out. Um, I'm sure some people are screaming horror right now that I'm going to gouge out the eyes of a droid. But um, they are stuck. I don't want to remove the... the frame so I'm going to gouge out these bits I can always print new ones if I need to it's just transparent PLA um, and in failing that I could probably get hold of some clear P uh, resin and do that or get someone to do that for me um, but yeah it's gonna be really simple so I'm just gonna paint them and then um, yeah paint paint them and slot them in effectively and disconnect the just disconnect the power to the um, LEDs on the back literally it. So, uh, I'll see you in a second. Right, those have been painted black and I've lacquered the top so it's got a kind of shine to it and you can still just about see the lines but so the next step is to gouge his eyes out. Literally gouge the eyes out. There you go, so I've removed that bit. I've just got to remove the, the walls effectively so I need to sort of either pull it out or break it out. And then uh, I'll pop this one in before putting that one in, just in case. Well, that was entertaining and moderately scary. I effectively just chiselled it out. Um, I might need to paint the inside. Of, I'm definitely going to have to repaint the outside of there. I'm going to have to repaint the inside of here, maybe. I'll see. Because obviously it drops lower. Um, so yeah, let's see how it looks. and screams of terror from droid builders all over the place. Um, 
Oops. That's not cut. Um. Very oops. Luckily, it just super glued back together. Oops. There, you wouldn't even know it was broken. Resin, um, brittle, <laughs> easily shatters. Um, anyway, I'll glue that back together. Let's try the lens. Oh, I think that's probably a bit too far down, but it looks okay so far. There we go. Uh, I sanded them around the edges a bit, just to, and then the friction fit. it. So that's pushed in nicely. A uh, bit of repair work needed there. And we'll see where I glue it back together. That eye slipped down a bit too much, I might just push it from the back. But overall, I'm happy with that. Actually, I might just leave that. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's in power back up, um, and actually those lights are still connected, so I'm assuming they're on, I can't tell. I'm gonna disconnect them anyway. Um, that shows how good a fit that, that is, that you can't see the light through it. Um, yeah, I quite like that. Um, so I'm not sure whether to push that forward or not. There we go, lights are now disconnected and luckily I hadn't glued the back cap on the NeoPixel on. So I could take that off and push the lens through from the other side and that's now at what I think is the right depth. I can push it back very, very slightly if I need to. What I'm going to do now is try and tidy up the silver here carefully with a paintbrush and try and cover up the cracks there. I'm not sure how well that's going to go, but yeah, it's looking uh, looking good. I still need to sort that lens out there just, just to dull that light down. So it's essentially, well, a bit like that, I suppose. So that's the next job. There, they're in. Lens, the eye sockets repainted, so you can barely see that there was a, a break. Um, honestly, the the painting style it just weather it. So, it's any excuse for bad paint, where just weather it. So yeah, that's that done. Um, eye lens. That'd be the next bit to do. Just need to work out how I'm going to do it. I know Michael did one using an egg and some clear styrene, so I think I might try and get some transparent black styrene and do the same thing. Transparent black styrene. There's an oxymoron. The soulless eyes of a murdering droid. Whoa. Right, so we're going to look at Chopper's uh, lengths now. Um, got some clear PT, PETG, I thought it was starting with PETG, it doesn't matter, it still works. And I cut a little section out, and then I got an egg in a cup, and then heated this up with a hot air gun, and then just it's actually vacuum formed it over the egg. Um, yeah, the less said about that, better because um, the egg kind of went. It's a bit of a mess. So if you're going to do that, maybe use a wooden egg, or um, plastic, or a half plastic egg, or um, maybe not heat plastic up so much that the egg explodes in your hands. Anyway, but I've, I've formed it over the egg. It, there's, I'm not too worried about these these bends or just melted bit here. I had two goes. So this is over the fatter side of the egg. This is over the uh, the more pointy end of the egg. Um, I don't know which one really works that better. Um, now, Mike's done a video on, on this already, and he said that this template already exists. I couldn't find it. So I created my own one, essentially already. It's got the fusion file extruded out the uh, center bit of the eye, sliced it, and created this template. So this ring here is, um, the LED would be in the middle there. Yeah. So then the rest of the, if I'd be around like that. So that's essentially all I need. So I'm going to 
place it place it up here somewhere. Where I think looks best. And from here. Yeah. Then I'm gonna get a, a whiteboard marker. Be sure to rub this off. And find that spot I quite like. There. Get removed. There. It's a whiteboard marker. I can just uh, do it again. Now I'm going to do is just cut around that circle um, and then I'll be cutting up to the line and then uh, sanding it to fit. Uh, I'm just going to go there, go there. So I just need to cut this out now and Paris scissors normally would be alright. So I'm just going to get a pair of scissors. Right, so I have kitchen scissors, um, these are strong enough. Uh, let me see if I was using thinner styrene, um, those probably would work. Uh, likewise, so it's not set, but uh, this, is, that's, this is 40 thou, 40 thou um, clear the styrene scissors. A little one's a cap. I want you to get going. Alright, so I'm just going to. Very nice little shards of the uh, elastic. There we go, I've released the lens from there. Let's just uh, carefully cut it. There we are. Doesn't look much, does it? But hopefully it should be fine. Um, I'm conscious of the fact it's not very circular. Uh, I'm cut the scissors. Anyway, um, so I've got plenty to try again if it needs to be. Plenty of plastic, I don't have the eggs I've got. Um, so, swipe it that away. Okay. Yeah, I will uh, show you what that looks like on the chopper and then um, yeah, quickly show you what that looks like on chopper and then we'll come back and I'll just sand the edges to get it correct and then we've got one more bit left to do. Mm, something's gone a bit wrong there. It's a bit too small. So essentially what I did was extruded this ring, inner ring here, out. So I haven't taken into account the thickness of the pen. So I've got to, I'll use that other bit of um, plastic that I'd already moulded and uh, we'll try that with it. Right, so I've drawn around the outside of the ring this time. So let's try that. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'll... Um, to sacrifice another egg for the course. Right, let's see what this one looks like. It's not quite as domed as I would like, but I might just live a bit. And as I suspected, this is actually now too big. So I can start trimming a bit away and hopefully it'll fit. I attempted to trim it away and just actually stick it to the that itself, but anyway, let's trim it a bit and then um, make it a bit more circular. Right, I think I'm nearly there. No, no way you'll be able to see that, but uh, basically it's nearly there. 
Just, uh, you have to see my word for it. So I just need to, I'm going to sand it slightly, uh, file it slightly, just to get it in. And basically, I want that to just click in there. So no, it fit in the ring. So I'll uh, get on with that. Right, I think that's as close as I'm going to get. Um, because it's not a perfect dome, it's um, popping out very, very slightly. So if I sand any more away, it's likely to be sanding too much. So I think uh, epoxy will hold that in place. Um, yeah, it looks all right. So the next, the next step is I'm going to apply some um, uh, screen tinting spray to this. But first, I'm going to test it on one of the pieces that went wrong. So this is the stuff. Um, give it a good shake and give it a go. So that's one light coat. I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes and try another coat. Basically, I want to get it fairly dark. Uh, dark than you would ever have it on a, a car window, legally. So I'll just leave that and come back to it. There we are. I think that's as dark as I need to go. Um, so that's my test piece. Still, they are still drying. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to go any darker than that. It's only to dull the uh, blue LED slightly. So I'll let that fully dry and then we'll stick it onto his eye. Might need to go a bit heavier. Um, it's still quite visible, isn't it? Um, it's creating an odd halo effect on camera, but it's not there, it's been uh, diffused more. Um, I'm going to try going a bit heavier, actually. Going heavier, would that do anything? Would that actually... See, on camera that looks like it's blind, uh, whiting out, but on in real life, that actually looks better, so maybe I should go heavier. Yeah, I'm going to go a tiny bit heavier. There we go, that's kind of the effect I'm after. Again, the, the camera's put more of a halo and a bright spot on there than there actually is. Um, but in real life, it's actually quite dim. Now, I realise I could have just lowered the resistance, uh, increased the resistance on the LED. Um, it's just a lot of work to get into the back of the droid to do that. This is just a quite an easier, I mean, I've got to put the lens on anyway. This is quite an easier fix, and actually when the droid's turned off, it looks quite good. So let me just... Uh, get some chopper off. See that? Yeah. I mean, once it's glued in, it's got rid of that edge, but it actually looks quite good. So, I'm quite pleased with that. So, I just need to glue that in, and then that's done. So that was... Probably up to about six coats of that that tinting spray. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. I'm quite pleased with that. So um, I'm going to leave this video there. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now.